Today I'm coming to you guys from a super secret location somewhere in the United States of America. All right. Oh, and look at this amazing East Texas Outlaws gear. And this one just happens to be customized for my channel. Thanks, cuz. I really appreciate it. If you're not familiar with the East Texas Outlaws channel, I suspect you would go over there and check out his content, give him a sub, and tell him that Predon sent you. Now, why am I here? I was tagged by Big Jeff over at the Gun Wild One channel, and he wants a video on six firearms I'm glad to own. All right, guys, let's get into this. All right, here is the first firearms on my list. This is a Phoenix Arms Raven 25 Auto, chambered in 25 Auto. And the reason this is on my list is because it has a kind of an odd story behind it. I acquired this little pistol off of YouTube. So I have all these videos of Raven 25 Autos on my channel, the ones that I've borrowed uh, from a lot of other people that I know. And so I get a lot of negative and positive comments on those videos. One day I opened my email and there was a comment from a gentleman named Lanny Yankel. Now, if that's not an odd name, I don't know what is. And he said, Predon, I have a Raven 25 Auto and I don't know what to do with it. I just want to get rid of it. And uh, where's the best place to do that? And I said, well, if you got one for sale, I'll take it because I personally didn't have one. And I said, send me a picture of it. So Lanny sent me a picture of this beautiful pistol, but it had an evidence tag on it, which is kind of weird. I'll show you that picture right now. So after I saw the picture of this with an evidence tag on it, of course I had to ask many, many questions. This pistol was actually Lanny's sister's pistol, and it was in the trunk of her car one night and her and her boyfriend got into an argument, uh, a heated argument. This pistol was not used in that argument, but since it was in the trunk of her vehicle at the time of the argument, when the police searched the vehicle, they found this, tagged it, and put it into evidence. And then after the whole thing was over, nobody was charged with anything, she had to come and pick this up. And then Lanny ended up getting this from his sister. And he just didn't want it in his house, so he asked if I would like to purchase it. I said, yeah, how much? 80 bucks. Okay, it comes with a case, one mag. I sent him a picture of my uh, carry permit and my driver's license so he knew that I wasn't some thug downtown Chicago trying to use this, you know, in a manner that it wasn't meant to be used. <laughs> and so we settled on it. I sent him a check and in a couple days I opened a package and here it was. So that's why this Phoenix Arms Raven 25 Auto is on my top six list. Let's move on to the second one. Now these firearms are in no particular order, but here's number two. Oh, you know what this is. Now why is the Benelli M4 second on my list? This thing doesn't really have a big story behind it, but I spent many nights, sleepless nights, thinking about this very shotgun. It's an Italian made shotgun, so parts used to be kind of difficult to get, and then when you could get them, they're expensive. So this is the collapsible law enforcement stock. This thing was $235. Um, the Surefire foregrip, no longer produced, $250. This is a carrier comp full length mag tube. Of course, when these, when these shotguns came to Shields or these big box stores, they just had a, a short magazine tube on them. It wasn't a full length magazine tube. So what do you think I had to do right away? I had to find a full length mag tube and I wanted a titanium one. So this one is from carrier comp. So when I ordered this, it was very, very expensive. But right when I ordered it, carrier comp laid off or fired all their machinists that were capable of machining titanium. So what does that mean for the consumer? This guy. It took over a year to get an extended magazine tube for this. And it was me calling Carrier Comp and bugging them and bugging them and bugging them and asking them where my tubes gonna be. So a year of having this shotgun and modifying it, it took that long to get 
a tube. And I mean, so look at this thing. Video games, law enforcement, Navy SEALs. This is the shotgun. Very beautiful. Originally, I also had, and I, I wanted a collapsible stock for this, so I had the ATI collapsible stock. It was bulky, heavy, and it didn't work very well because I couldn't find one of these. So after doing all the ATI improvements to it and worrying and all the sleepless nights, finally, I was able to find the law enforcement stock, and this is the configuration that I wanted to begin with. So I ended up spending all this money on stuff that I didn't need until I found this. So many sleepless nights, it came out beautiful. Now it just sits in the safe and sometimes I crack the door on the safe a little bit and peer in at it and then I close the safe really quick. So hopefully we'll get it out and shoot it some more. All right, let's move on to number three on the list. And here it is. This is the Palmetto State Armory. AR-15 pistol chambered in 5.56 by 45 millimeter. Now, yeah, to you guys, it's just a regular old pistol. But to me and Caitlin, this represents friendship. And it reminds us of our veterans that fight for our freedoms every day. Major Justin Fitch. Now, Caitlin and I won this in a fundraiser for Justin's final mission from Eric and Christine. So this represents to me and Caitlin very good friends and family, um, all the people that are involved in Justin's final mission. Eric and Christine do a lot for the fundraising for Justin's final mission, and I think it's awesome. The whole group, the gun community, the friendship, the family. So this represents all of that in one package. It has a Vortex Strike Fire 2, red dot, green dot on top. It has a Raptor charging handle, the most important part. Major Justin Fitch's dog tag, or replica dog tag, SB Tactical Brace. And so that's what this one means to me. Let's move on to the next one. Here is number four on the list, of course. It's gotta be the gold-plated Ruger Super Blackhawk that represents my heritage. So, no, not everybody is proud of their heritage or proud of who they are, where they're from. Um, I live in a farming community, I'm not even gonna lie. But it is a very beautiful community. It has five or six lakes within the city limits and most of them are connected through channels. So you can get in your boat and go from one lake to the next, to the next, to the next. So this one is from American Legacy Firearms. They took a standard Ruger Super Blackhawk and they customized it over the period of a year for my town. So my town happens to be the city of lakes because it's the city of lakes. One side, it has all the lakes engraved in the grips on one side. This one says three of 10 and it says Fairmont tradition on it. It has, uh, the Minnesota map and then a star for my town. It also has the first settlement house in this, in this town. So it's called the Chubb House. Take it any way you want. On the other side of the cylinder, it says farming community because this is a farming community. Uh, all the heritage here is farmers and that's how people make their money around here mainly. It has a jeweled hammer. Otherwise, other than the goldness and the plating and the scrolling. It's a standard Ruger Super Blackhawk, but you know, it says uh, Southern Minnesota's best kept secret, but it is gorgeous. So the reason it's special to me is because I had to get something that would celebrate my heritage. And I think all of you guys at home should also celebrate who you are and the heritage that you and your family keep. All right, let's move on to the next one, guys. Here is number five on the Glad to Own Firearms. This is a new acquisition to the collection. And I really don't like to say collection because I'm more of a shooter than a collector. And some people are shooters and collectors, but I can only feed so many kids. So many, you know what I'm saying. So this is the Ruger Mini 14, and this is a 1983 pre-ban Mini 14. 
And why this is special to me is because I have always wanted one. Sometimes you have to get things that make you happy. And this makes me happy. It has a walnut stock and it has the pre-ban side folder on it, which is, is it's compact and it's awesome. And this, this rifle also screams, I don't know what it screams to me. Gun control, kind of, in a sense, because when shooting started happening with these uh, Mini 14s in this configuration with the folding stock, and then they were talk, the government was talking about assault weapons bans. Does that sound familiar at this point in time? They were talking about assault weapons bans, and the Ruger company uh, said, well, we know what's coming, so we're gonna discontinue making Ruger Mini 14s with side folders. So that's why this one is a pre-ban. And it is just crazy to have something that is from 1983. You know, I was born in 82. And it, I mean, with the walnut, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. And I just, I had to have it. I am very proud to own this firearm. I'm very glad that I have this. I'm very glad that I could afford it. I never thought I would be able to drop so much coin on a rifle. Now this is not a super high-end rifle, but these things are getting more rare and more rare every day, and they're getting more difficult to find. So there it is, demonstrate this beauty. Oh. <laughs> Has peep sights on it, you know. It's got a ghost ring in the back, standard blade in the front. Man. If you're not in love with this thing right now, as much as I am, there's something wrong with you. Okay, holy cow, Jeff. Is this a long enough video for you? And if you're not familiar with the Gun Wild One channel, go check that channel out. The link will be in the description box below. Okay, let's move on to the last firearm. Last but not least is the FN, FNP 9mm. Look at that, beautiful. Now this gun is very special to me because this thing is formed to my body. I have carried this gun for the last 15 years for most of the time I've had my carry permit. This thing has taught me more about gun safety than an instructor ever could. Situational awareness, absolutely. When you carry a gun and you learn to carry a firearm, you learn to know who's behind you in line at Walmart. You learn to look for things that are out of the ordinary. So this pistol right here, just being able to carry this, has absolutely taught me a lot of things about carrying a gun, firearms, how they work, when I should feel safe, when I shouldn't feel safe, when it needs to be in the holster, when it should be out of the holster, which it never comes out of the holster unless it needs to. But this thing, has taught me so much about firearms and safety, being safe, feeling safe. So, I mean, I have a groove in my side where my holster is that is the shape of this gun, I'm telling you. But enough about that. This thing has an amazing trigger. I love it because it's a hammer-fired gun. It's not striker. I love the old traditional, something about that hammer. Watching the hammer fall, Listen to the sound of the hammer cock as a decocker on it. So, that's it. That's it right there. This thing has taught me a lot of things, a lot of lessons about life and liberty. So here it is, guys. Here it is. All right, guys, I forgot to tag two people that I want to see the six firearms that you're glad to own. So the first is, of course, East Texas Outlaws. Show me the firearms you're glad to own and Glocker Bob. If you're watching this Glocker Bob, I love your channel and I want you to show me the six firearms that you are glad to own. So once again, guys, if you don't know who East Texas Outlaws are, go over there and check out their channel. Big Jeff, Gun Wild One. Thanks for tagging me. It was a good experience. It's kind of fun to reminisce why I own firearms, why I participate in the Second Amendment, why my beliefs as a patriot are so strong in my life. So I got something for you, Jeff. Okay. Jeff, 
Gun Wild One, and everybody out there that supports my channel. Cheers, I really appreciate it. <sighs> Holy cow, take a breath. <laughs> take a breath. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.